What's going on guys? How y'all doing today? Southern Guy here and we are here with official WWE SmackDown review. Just for you. SmackDown opens with Randy Orton and Shane McMahon. And uh, Randy Orton watching the video for Randy Orton hit, hitting an RKO on Raw. Shane said that he would be shocked if Lesnar didn't try to take revenge on Randy Orton before SummerSlam. Brian and Shane ran into the Miz backstage and Maurice. Miz called himself the Jason Bourne, which WWE, which meant uh, Brian accidentally calls Apollo Crews, Apollo, Apollo Creed, when the Miz tells how they will find a number one contender for his IC title, but he was about to happen eventually. Baron Corbin will face Apollo Crews, Kalisto, and a triple threat match to see who faces Miz at SummerSlam for the IC title. When we go to live the arena, Dean Ambrose welcomes us to the show. He calls out Dolph Ziggler to the ring for their upcoming uh, time to talk about their upcoming title match. Ambrose says that he is nothing but like Ziggler. Ziggler remains uh, the star of the male cheerleader. We go to Ambrose who comes up in hot with the shield. Dean Ambrose says that Ziggler has, is, no, Ziggler has nothing to worry about his image and what fans think about him. While Ambrose was worried only about being a champion. Ziggler gets fired up and tells Ambrose that he is going to take his title. And this is easily the best promo Ziggler has ever delivered. The lights go out. When they come back, we see Bray Wyatt hitting Ziggler with a Sister Abigail. Sister Abigail. He grabs the mic and says Ziggler doesn't deserve to be champion. Then he issues a challenge to Ziggler for a singles match. Number one for his number one contender spot is all the lie. We return to see Ziggler telling Brian and Shane that he will take Wyatt's challenge because he wants to prove that he deserves to be the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Back at the arena, Kalisto makes his way to the ring for the triple threat match. Miz is, up, Miz is at ringside with Maurice. Baron Corbin versus Apollo Crews versus Cody Stone number one contenders match. Winner Apollo Crews defeats Baron, Cor uh, Baron Corbin and Cody Stone to triple that match to become number one contender for the IC title. Apollo Crews advances in the match to become number one contender. Becky Lynch heads to the ring. For her match against Natalia, I mean Becky Lynch has to the ring against her match against Eva Marie, but Becky loses clean, lost all fate to the creator, but the team, but I do have almost a minute like Eva Marie's entrance. The match hasn't still even started. Eva Marie is acting like she is hurt. And the ref complete the the ref Calls for the trainer to check on her. The ref tells the announce the announcer Eva Eva Marie can't compete, so the match was canceled. We did not get to see a match between Eva Marie and Becky Lynch. Carmella is being interviewed by Renee Young, and the tag interrupts and they exchange words and uh, some insults. America Alpha versus the Von Villains and America Alpha's debut. What an impressive debut for America Alpha. America Alpha defeats the Von Villains in their debut match. I love the I love America Alpha. Jason Jordan, Chad Gable. What a great team. They're gonna be future tag team champions, I believe it. And they they're gonna go a long way in WWE. Congratulations, America Alpha, on defeating the Von Villains.
After the high, some highlights, he said John Cena, who's in Team Choice Awards, AJ Styles makes his way to the ring to address his feud with John Cena. Styles barely gets a whole sentence before John Cena's music hits, makes his way to the ring, reactions. We get people real finally starting to realize the boo in him. We see a match. Match is made between AJ Styles and John Cena. And uh, AJ accepts the challenge. One on one. We're going to see one on one at SummerSlam. AJ Styles versus John Cena. Let's see next. Randy Orton versus Fandango. Winner Randy Orton. Uh, wins by DQ. Randy Orton wins by uh, Randy Orton versus Fandango. The match ends. Uh, winner D by DQ. Randy Orton shape, and then we see Brock Lesnar come from the crowd. He enters the ring. Boom! F fives Randy Orton, and then walks away. And then ex ex Brock Lesnar is escorted out by security and Shane McMahon. They tell Brock Lesnar to leave the building. And Brock Lesnar applies and leaves the building with Paul Heyman. Paul, he gets in the car to a vehicle with Paul Heyman and they leave. So Ray, Brock Lesnar kind of got some revenge tonight on Randy Orton from last night, Monday night's RKO. So uh, I'm pretty sure we'll see them continue to go at it probably up until their batch at SummerSlam. Keith Slater, Keith Slater told that he will have a match next week to earn a contract, and he was at, he he will face Rhino. Rhino hits him, hits Keith Slater with a goal out of nowhere. Then we see Renee Young interviewed by her boyfriend Dean Ambrose. I would love to see Rhino, especially show up with gore people. Often it's very cool to see Rido Gore Keith Slater. Now we're gonna see a matchup next week. If if Keith Slater can beat Rhino somehow, he'll earn a SmackDown contract. But I don't think he can beat uh, he can beat Rido. We'll just see have to see next week on live SmackDown. See how many matches I got. Let's see what I got left. We are back from break after Bray Wyatt heads to the ring with his match with Dolph Ziggler. Bray Wyatt versus Dolph Ziggler, no more contenders match. Ziggler is still all business. He heads to the ring. As soon as the bell rings, Ziggler hits a drop kick and a famouser for an early two count on Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt rolls him up to avoid the super kick and then. Ziggler follows up and lays him out with the show the show off with a huge clothesline. Ziggler rolls him up for the Ziggler rolls him up for the another deer fall. When he gets back up in the ring, Ziggler looks like Bray Wyatt may have rolled his ankle. Bray Wyatt versus Dolph Ziggler, no one contends match. Part two, we returned but Ziggler tried to fight off Bray Wyatt in the say before he Goes for a suplex. Bray Wyatt does his spider walk. We see Bray Wyatt versus Dolph Ziggler. Winner, Dolph Ziggler. Zig Dolph Ziggler. Thank God WWE didn't kill Ziggler's push right away by beating Bray Wyatt. Beating Bray Wyatt makes him look like a threat to Ambrose WWE Championship. So there you have it. Dolph Ziggler defeated uh, Bray Wyatt. To still be number one contender for Dean Ambrose WWE Championship match. And Amber Dean Dolph Ziggler looks strong, man. He come out of the gate, boom, beating up Bray Wyatt. And we see Dolph Ziggler defeat Bray Wyatt to still remain number one contender. He looked really strong. He's gonna look really strong versus Ambrose. It's gonna be a really good match for SummerSlam. I look forward to it. After the post match. Post-match, Eric Rowan attacks Dolph Ziggler, and Bray Wyatt hits the sister Abigail 
on Dolph Ziggler to end SmackDown. SmackDown goes off the air. Off the air. Um, so that's going to wrap it up. Hope y'all enjoyed tonight's WWE SmackDown review. Don't, if you liked the video, enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So the guy at 75 on YouTube.com. Follow me on Twitter, Danny Parker 27 And I hope y'all enjoyed this SmackDown review for your Tuesday night. Last SmackDown aired tonight on, on USA Network. I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you didn't see Monday Night Raw review, go on to my channel. SouthernGuy175.YouTube.com. Check out my Raw review. I did a Raw review last night. And don't forget to go on here and check out this one for SmackDown Live tonight on the USA Network. Please, so I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For SouthernGuy175YouTube.com. I hope y'all have a great, great Tuesday night. And I'll see y'all back here for more WWE News and Rumors and news coming your way. Bye, guys. See y'all later. Hope you have a, have a safe Tuesday night. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.